مشاهدينا رح ننتقل من الديكور للانجاز لموطن الحلم والانجاز ورح نتعرف بمقابله اجرتها الزميله هاله ابو علوان على رائده اعمال هنديه وجدت بدبي ارض خصبه لازدهار مشاريعها. نعم رائده الاعمال الهنديه ومؤسسه شركه درايف السيده فردوش الشيخ تحدثت لهالة أبو علوان عن رؤية درايف وغايتها الرئيسية في تعزيز الأثر الاجتماعي والإنساني كما أعلنت أنه الربع الأول من هالسنة رح يتم أطلاق خدمات درايف بدبي وذلك بالتعاون مع هيئة الطرق والمواصلات وهي خطوة هامة بتدشن من خلال دبي تقنية ابتكارية بمنطقة الشرق الأوسط وشمال أفريقيا منتابع يسعدنا أن يكون معنا اليوم سيدة فردوش شيخ رائدة الأعمال الهندية ومؤسسة شركة درايف Good morning فردوش Great to have you here Thank you Hala for having me فردوش When I looked at the profile of the company and read more about drive the first thing which came to my mind is the social impact and how many people how many actually how many achievements you're doing which, which are enhancing people's lives so many people's lives Tell us in simple words, because I know it's a complex combination probably for regular audience. What does Drive mean? So Drive in its simple term is a ride hailing company like Uber and Kareem, but that's not what we are, just like you know another ride hailing company. Uh, the idea of Drive is to make sure that driver get to earn 100% of the fare that you as a rider pay. Because uh, for us, it is very important that they get to earn what they deserve and which is what has been taken away from this ecosystem uh, that drivers struggle to make enough money for themselves. And uh, that's what I wanted to achieve is give back them what they deserve, not just for driver, but also for riders have a fair fair that you pay and transparency in place. And that's what with Drive we want to achieve, empower both the driver and rider community. Impressive. So everyone feels they belong to Drive. Correct. Out of curiosity, what made you think of Drive? Is it personal story? Is it childhood? Is it something you experienced? Uh, drive is very personal to me uh, for two reasons. One is obviously I the only way I commuted ever since I grew up was Uber in India, uh, back in India. That's the only way I commute. I've, I'm a super user of Uber in India, now Kareem in Dubai. Uh, so one day when I was traveling with this driver, uh, the driver asked me to cancel the trip. He said, I'll take you to the airport, pay me 100 bucks less. And I asked the very basic question, why? Yeah. And that's when I got to know about the high commission that driver pay. But it was not just limited to commission, it was about how they feel stuck in this vicious circle of paying high commission. Because a country where I come from, a lot of people are dependent on being taxi driver for all their life. The whole family runs that way, which actually took me back to my own childhood where I come from a family where my father started his career as a taxi driver. And I still remember waiting for him and not see him. And uh, when I heard this driver's story, and he told me he didn't get he don't get time to spend with his family i was like if after 20 years of me growing in this technological world there's still a small girl waiting for her father i want to change that i want to do something that you know if i can give drivers what they deserve to earn they might spend lesser time on road go back home timely so it's not just about changing the landscape of mobility space but changing how their lives looks like and yeah uh, that's why I guess life is so important to me. And that's why I think it's so successful and you, we could see it actually from the way you're explaining that. For those you're using for drive, the main element is utilizing blockchain for the benefit of drive hailing experience and make it smoother and softer and accessible. What does this mean like in, in like a simple terms? and? How do you manage? Because with technology comes compliance constraints, right? How do, what's, the, what's the fine line between those two? Correct. You know, a lot of time when we speak about anything which is blockchain based, we think like people should know about blockchain That's to reuse that application. And that is something I was convinced that my audience should not know how, how blockchain functions because your audience are driver and rider. Uh, blockchain is not just limited to crypto or say gaming application. 
the very core of blockchain is about transparency and fairness and that's what we are bringing with drive where we are being transparent about the fare that you pay as a user so two different users don't end up paying different fare at the same time drivers are treated fairly in this system and when we are being transparent and fair that's why we are able to build something when drivers are not paying commission to the platform we don't have a profit motive that's how you utilize blockchain for the very core principle that it brings transparency so the whole ride journey runs uh, on blockchain using smart contracts but for you as a user it is about experience that yes. i know what i'm paying for how much a driver is getting and driver get to on what he does yes. so giving to the users uh, the experience and the benefit that we can bring using blockchain and that's why like you know for my users it doesn't matter yes. that there's an underlying technology which is blockchain exactly and for those you proved that the formula is successful in bangalore and i know you have plans to uh, expand to two other cities in india but why now dubai why uae where do you see the opportunity here and at the same time what challenge you're you're solving for here uh so uh, dubai uh, specifically for us is a very strategic decision in the vision of what we want to achieve drive uh, firstly because of the whole web3 uh, vision of what dubai stands for and you know there are a lot of people coming from across the globe building web3 product and i guess dubai stands at the forefront of technological advancement that they also want to achieve uh, that's one reason but the second is the population uh, from across the globe is here that way you get to be around different set of community different type of user base for your application so those are the two important reason that we felt like we want to be in dubai first is you can test a lot which is web3 aspect of who you are in the place like dubai uh, challenge wise the ways are very sophisticated uh, very controlled uh, specifically with the ride hailing space uh, and that will be very challenging for us to have your own space uh, and known for how you are different from any other ride hailing company that exists yeah. in dubai it's very controlled market and how does something which gives back to the community to decide for themselves will function in a very controlled market will be very challenging and interesting to for us to actually understand and is it launched uh it's going live this month uh, in dubai uh we have already started with driver onboarding and very soon you'll be able to use drive in dubai congratulations so the impact the social impact will also be here in dubai yes and i think everyone should thank you for this amazing idea you're making people's lives better you're making taxi drivers spend more time with their family and i think what you experienced in the childhood you don't want anyone to experience you want to spend more time for with your dad and i think your parents deserve like a huge kudos a mr shek ido and mrs salma we we tell them like thank you for that thank you for making you uh, actually think of this great idea and wishing you all the best in bangalore in the two cities you're expanding and here in dubai thank, thank you. you so much for do shek for being with us today thank you so much hala thank you